All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kapadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples for his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful that got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful that the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about your mouth shot? And I want to go into a um, quick lesson, you know, dealing with how the, how the woman, okay, is our background. You know, as Israelite men, you know, our, our wives, our women, you know, our family, that's the background, you know, because we live in a society, you know, that's full of, you know, the vibration of the queen of heaven, you know, putting women on the pedestal. You know, men pretty much, you know, making women their purpose, okay, which is completely off according to the scriptures. Now, women, all right, play a very vital role within the nation, all right, it, it, it is needful, all right, but they're, they're most effective when they're in the background, okay. Esau Edom, you know, he pretty much turned everything upside down, you know, put the woman on the forefront, put her in these positions of authority. Okay, and we see the ripple effect of that. You know, we're living in a culture based off women being out of order, based off men, you know, um, um, pretty much reverencing women, okay, above them, you know. And that's why in the ministry, in the truth, the Bible gives us the instructions, okay, on how we should be, you know, as men, okay. And dealing with the woman, you have to understand the woman is our background because. We have a purpose as men. We have a purpose that's outside of a woman. Okay? The woman, all right, we are their purpose. You know, if you got a woman, you got a family, all right, you you, you are their purpose. Okay? And, but as men, all right, we have a purpose that's outside of them. And even though, I pur even though we have a purpose outside of them, their purpose still benefits them. You see, we serve a just power. We serve a righteous, wise power, you know? So we're starting to move according to how he wants us to move. That's why you go to uh, Proverbs 31 and 3. It says, Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to them which destroy a king. And you read this in the NLT. It says, Do not waste your strength on women and those who ruin kings. Okay? So this society teaches you to be, you know, wrapped around a woman's finger. You know, they, 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 this society teaches you to become a servant, all right, and run out your wits for a woman, okay? But nah, this is the other way around, okay? A woman, all right, is it, it, supposed to be a servant unto you, and we're servants of Yahweh by Shem al Shah, okay? And, and, and the decisions that we do make, they still benefit, you know, the whole household, because see, we've been so twisted. All right, because when, 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 when women talk about a high value men, you know, they're speaking in terms of salary. You know, it's the main thing that they're speaking of when they say high value. All right, and then high value comes from, you know, a man's status in this world. Okay, was well, there's nothing wrong with having, you know, this world's good. Okay, but true value comes from favor with your how about Shemal Shah. See, the, pros the true prosperity of a household is based off of an Israelite household is based off the man's relationship with Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Okay, that's the prosperity of that household. Everyone in that household, okay, um, yeah, uh, everything in the man's household is based off his favor with the Lord. All right, you look at Noah. Okay, his wife. His sons and their wives, well, they receive favor based off Noah's relationship with Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Okay? Because you look at, you go to Genesis, the sixth chapter. All right? How did the Lord look at Noah? All right? This is uh, Genesis 6 and 8. It said, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shah. See, Noah found grace, and through Noah's grace, his wife was spared, okay, her sons, you know, Noah's sons were spared, okay, 
their wives were spared based off the grace all right, that was given unto Noah. You see? So, um, uh, as a man, our focus is, is establishing a relationship with Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. Now, we do have our, our downtime, you know, and we, we get that, you know, the Lord is, is about balance. You know, we have that downtime where we do, you know, sometimes you get to let your hair, hair back with your woman, kick it. You know, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, and this is not saying that, uh, you know, you brother, because every, every brother different, you know, but at the end of the day, that's your background, whether you, you know, um, <laughs> beefing with your woman or whether uh, uh, we have a good relationship, you know, with our family. Either way, we still got to do what got to be done for the ministry. You see, that's just that's just your background. That's why it don't matter. See, that's why it don't matter, um, you know, how many women the brother got, how many, you know, the, the relationship, the status between the brother and this woman, you know, like I said, whether they, they beefing or at peace, you know, um, it doesn't matter, okay, what race the woman is, like, nah, that's their brother background, okay, <laughs> as long as he's handling his business in the ministry, okay, and his background is not affecting, you know, his responsibilities in the ministry, then that's, that's on him. How he deal with his woman, you know, that that's on him. That's that brother's background, man. Okay? That would there's no concern of ours. Alright? And that's a perspective, you know, we're coming back to as, you know, uh, uh we're we're learning, all right, about the dynamic, you know, of family according to the scriptures, man. Okay? Well going back to it, it was Noah that found grace in the sight of the Lord and every everybody benefited. What if Noah was giving his strength? To, to his wife, man, you know, which his time and energy and, and, and the art wasn't built, but the flood still came. Everybody would have been through, okay? Because at the end of the day, our purpose as men, it still benefits the woman on the back end, okay? She's still going to benefit, like what we're doing now. You know, we might miss, you know, you, you might miss a few nights of Netflix and chilling, or you might miss a date night or two. Okay, you might miss an appearance here or an appearance there, but guess what? In the when, when we get, yeah, man, when we get on those chariots, okay, and eventually come down, you know, and slay the heathen, and the kingdom is built up, and the woman is gonna be put up. Okay, guess what? She's not gonna be thinking about those nights, <laughs> all right, those times that we missed. Okay, because even the scripture tell them, tell us. All right, she's not gonna be. She gonna. She gonna benefit, you know, off her husband being on his purpose. Okay, that's why she's there to aid you in your purpose. Her, you, you are her purpose, man. Okay, and that's that's how we have to move, you know, in this ministry, man. Let's um, let's go here because the scriptures say you go to Romans eight and um. Romans 8 and 18 said, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay? So, what we got coming, you know, this present, we can't even compare this present time to, you know? So, we can't get caught up in the present, get so caught up in the right now, you know, the little moments of right now, you know? And then... And, 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 Cause that's that was pretty much mortal thoughts, you know. And we men, you know, we get it. Cause as a, as a man, you you do, you know, you, you want to see your woman, you know, in comfort. You want to see her in a good place, you know. You you want to see that. You want to see your family, you know, um, in a, in a, in a certain place. That's the the reason why we're on our purpose, you know, is so they can have that eternally, man. Okay, cause there's gonna be some times right now, hey, well, you're gonna be absent, okay. You're not, you're not going to be there, okay? Even in the same house, you know, because there's so much going on, you know, then different brothers got different portions. So, you know, hey, some brothers going to be out of pocket more than others, man, okay? But the Lord going to balance everything out in the kingdom, all right? And we have to remember that as men, because even as men, you know, sometimes you, the, the flesh just be want to kick it, 
But then it be things that need to be done in the spirit, man. And we got to fight against the flesh and do what needs to be done in the spirit. Okay? And every every brother, you know, they got to find their balance. Okay? What works for them. Because you do, you know, have to maintain, you know, your day-to-day, -day, okay, operations. But then, you know, handle business in the spirit. You know, that's one of the things about this ministry. It's about us as men. You know, learning how to function, okay, within uh, within balance, man. You know, you get, every brother got to find their balance, okay? Because you got to learn your estate. You know, your, your, your woman is a part of your estate, you know, just like your bills and your finances, all this a part of your estate. So with men, we got to learn how to balance that out, okay, but still fulfill our duty in your house by Shem Shai, you know? Then and that's a balance that all of us have to find is men. Cause there all those things need tending to. You know, the, the 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 family, if you got children, they need tending to. You got, you know, a, a woman, you know, uh she needs tending to. Okay. And if she's a believer, you know, you gotta, you know, a you gotta help her develop. <laughs> you know? So, um, you know, it's this thing of balance. All right, but at the end of the day, all this in the background, you know, and then our, our responsibility to the to the ministry, that's our purpose. That should be our drive. Okay, so let's go here, because um, Apostle Paul. So you read First Corinthians seven and twenty nine. It said, "But this I say, brethren, the time is short; it remaineth." That both they that have wives be as though they had none. Okay? So we in the time now as things are tightening up, you know, things are happening more frequently. You know, it is it's getting more serious, you're getting down to the wire. You know, it's gonna be a lot of times where, you know, we're gonna be occupied in this work, man. We're gonna be occupied in watching and reporting to what's and, and reporting about what's going on. Okay? Well, wait, we're going to be tapped in. All right? And, and everything else in the background just going to have to be on pause, man. You know, but I say the Lord gives us downtime and breaks, you know, within this ministry. Okay? To balance ourselves out. You know, kind of mellow out. Then get back to it. Okay? But we can't be, uh, well, we always, you know, caught up in that. And then the ministry is treated like a side piece. Nah. Everything else is a side piece. To this ministry, man, to our true purpose, man. As Israelite men, everything else is, is a side piece to this, man. You know, we'll get to it when we get to it, man. But we got to fulfill our lot. Each brother got to fulfill their lot in this ministry, whatever it is, man. You know, and each brother got different situations, man. So, you know, apply these things according to your situation, man, according to what, you know, uh, works. All right? Because some of you brothers you might have. You know, a good balance going already, man. Just keep that going, you know. And it, and it's always and one thing with balance, you know. It's, you always gotta make minor, you know, tweaks or fine tuning, you know, to to the balance, you know, because things change. <laughs> okay, situation change. Okay, well, just going into the uh the 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 the, the, the topic. All right, just have a perspective that. You know, the, the, the woman, the family, that's our background, okay? Because we have a purpose that, that's outside of it, man, okay? But it still benefits them. So uh, everything is full circle, man. And that's something that we're constantly learning as we're learning to be men, okay, according to Yahweh Bashim al Shah. So Lord will, you know, you brothers, all right, and you sisters were edified once again. I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kafadash, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful, Shalom.